Hello guys, today let's talk about enum field in MySQL database and in Laravel specifically. Is it good or bad? What should you use enum with options or foreign key with a lookup table? And I've created a demo project based on our quick admin panel with two examples. One example is projects with project status enum active and inactive and other one is clients with status ID with lookup table with client statuses. And a little spoiler alert, in this video I will try to convince you that enum is a bad practice. Let's take a look at projects table with active and inactive enum. And sometimes I see people do that using enum for two options, which is basically true or false. So if you have enum with two fields, think about should it be boolean field like checkbox tiny integer in Laravel migrations it would be table boolean. So in our case, in this case, it would be is active, for example, with default false, and it could be a checkbox instead of enum. So that's when you have two options. So enum is better for at least three options if you have three options. And speaking of which, let's try to add a third option to the project, like active, inactive, and for example, in progress or something. And this is where enum starts to feel bad because you need to change it everywhere. The main problem in general with enum is if you want to change that structure of options. That active and inactive is not only in the database, but it's also in the code. So if you add a project or edit the project, somewhere in controller you have to have a list of possible options. So you need to have a list somewhere here, for example, in controller's create method, and then in your create blade you parse that and do for each of the statuses do the magic. This is done to have form for creating the project and this you have project status active or inactive. So that's already the second place where you have to have a list active and inactive in the controller. But also there is an edit form so same thing project controller you have to have edit form and you have to have also statuses with same options. Also, did I mention the validation, for example, store project request should have a rule in active or inactive, so that's another place where you need the same array of options. Of course, you can move that to, for example, constructor of controller or in some model or somewhere in the config, but still, then you have two places, at least two places, where you need those options in the database and in the code. And if you want to add third option, you need to have migration for the database and also change everywhere in the code which may be not that simple if it's in multiple places or if it's done by another developer who doesn't know the structure of the project. And even the migration itself, if you are trying to add the third option or fourth option to enum, that migration is rebuilding the whole table, so you are dealing with quite a slow and expensive database operation. One argument from people who use enum that it's more readable, so you can take a look at migration like this one, or directly in the database and see the possible options in one place. But how often do you actually do that? I mean, one time, new person could take a look at the database structure and would understand all the options. So in the case of clients, they take a look at status ID, they take a look at relationships, that it's relationship to client statuses, take a look at the table, contents, and see the options. Of course, it's like a little more clicks, like five clicks instead of two or three, but quite rarely developers have to take a look at the options and it saves like two seconds or three seconds. So it's not an argument in my opinion. Another argument is that enum is faster and takes less space on the database. It's like performance argument. But in fact, it's pretty similar performance because foreign keys are integer or even small integer. So you have actually the number here. And if you have index on that field, it's pretty fast. In fact, there was an article, pretty old one from 2008, but I think it's pretty similar now. A test of querying the database with enums, with vouchers, or with joins. And the result is pretty similar. So it's almost scientifically proven that enums are not that faster, actually. So in general, whenever you have more than two options to choose from in a dropdown or radio buttons, I suggest to use a lookup table and foreign key to that. Also, while doing a mini research on that project, on that enum topic, I found an article, 8 reasons why enum is evil. So I suggest you to read that. I will link that in the description below. But there is a third approach, the downside of foreign keys that you are still dealing with numbers which are not readable. So foreign key, as I showed, client status ID is 1. And what if somewhere in the code you need to check? So if the client is active, 
what would you write? If client status ID equals one, and that is not readable in the code that easy. Someone needs to know what actually one means. So to help that situation, some people kind of faked enum, enum behavior without changing the database structure. And you can build it yourself or there are a few packages. And let me show you how. In our quick admin panel, we actually have a field select with drop down values. And whenever someone creates that select, in the model, we have this structure. So constant of values, this value is saved to the database and this value is shown on the form. And the actual field in the database is string. So in the form, we have create project, we have location, and we have the same select or similar select, but then we can reuse, if you have create blade, we have reused that constant. So for each constant of location select, we populate the dropdown from one set of values. And then you have kind of that enum behavior. So this is your array that you work with for the constants. So you don't have numbers, but whenever you need to add the option, you just add that here. And also there are packages specifically for that. Probably the most popular is Ben sample Laravel enum with thousand stars on GitHub. So it's pretty popular. And if we open the official blog post for that, this is the example. So you make enum as a class, for example, user type. That field is integer in the database, but you can use user type member as a constant without even knowing what number actually that is. So this is kind of the best from both worlds. So the database contains numbers, which makes that really easy to query and quick. But from the code perspective, you are dealing with user type member as constants, which is readable, also completed by PHP Storm or other IDEs. And also it's set in a separate class like enums with separate namespace. So you can go for that implementation. And also a pretty popular thing is Spati Laravel enum, which is actually Laravel wrapper for Spati enum package, which is general for PHP. Its behavior is pretty similar, so you deal with draft, for example, as a constant, and that makes it much more readable. So which way do you prefer? Do you use enums in your databases, or do you use one of those packages or foreign keys to lookup tables? Let's discuss in the comments. In the last video's comment section is really active, so you can find someone to discuss with, so be active. And that's it. Also subscribe to the channel because I'm shooting the videos almost daily. So if you want to receive Laravel tips or PHP tips, join 20,000 subscribers, which is currently the number and see you guys in other videos.